right, so in this evening's news, that's right, we are a newscaster studio now. I'm joking. My name is Jonathan. I'm founder of Driving Academy, and today we're bringing up a current event in the trucking industry. And if you haven't heard already, there's this huge company called Yellow. It's been around 99 years. You heard me right. Imagine having a company having 99 years of life. And the bad news is, like most 99 years old, they're about to die. Right. So this is a company that is 99 years old and is about to die. And it's not because of the trucking industry itself. But when you actually look at the medical records or the financial records, because it's a company, this company is extremely obese. This company actually has over a billion dollars of debt and it's have been carrying this extra weight on this on, on itself for a very long time. So imagine taking it to a person and having so much extra weight on you of course you're going to die an early death. Same thing when it comes to finances, whether it's personal or big company, does not matter how big or how small, right? So a lot of people are hearing about this and being like, oh my God, this is a huge company. Trucking is over. They're going to die. And now 30,000 people are going to be unemployed in this company itself. And this is just the first tipping point of the whole trucking industry. And I'm here to tell you that that is completely and utterly wrong. When I actually looked into this situation itself, I actually wanted to see, okay, is this going to be a trend that a lot of trucking uh, companies are going to be following and maybe going to be dying? Or is it just an isolated event? And after actually looking at it, like I said, they have over 12,000 trucks. And if you've ever seen these trucks, this is what it looks like. These trucks look old as what? Every single one of them. Like they don't keep track of their trucks. They're just a poorly managed company. They've just been able to stay around for that long of time. And after a while, people get complacent. Things start cutting down. People want to get nice bonuses at the end of the year and they don't constantly be investing into their own business itself. And they did take on loans and they did not use those loans properly just like many of you guys or people that you might know maybe took loans from the government during that whole pandemic situation and went to go buy a Louis bag. That's not the best thing to do with your money. And imagine doing that on a huge company level, right? So that's what it's looking like now. So now, when I was actually looking at it, I said, okay, now if these guys actually go under, which they're not under yet, they're going through bankruptcy now, seeing if that is even an option. They might sell off part of their business. They might sell off the business divisions itself. So the employees here might still be safe, but say worst case scenario, they do die. Who are their customers, right? So is this a company where if they die, that whole sector of that market is going to be gone? Imagine 12,000 trucks completely going. No, that's not what's going to happen. So when you actually look at who their customers are, they're talking about the big players. You're talking about like Walmart, Home Depot. Uh, those are huge co retail customers of many that they do have that they actually work for uh, driving products from point A to point B. So if all of a sudden, if this company dies out for whatever reason, that's right, if they do die out for whatever reason, and now there's a 30,000 people out of the job, the people who have a CDL license actually have the best chance of actually finding that new company. Why do I say that? Well, here's the facts. There's still about an 80,000 truck driver shortage, right? So that aside, they can just uh, leave that company for whatever reason because the whole company dies down. They can just move into another company since there's a whole lot of jobs out there. So even if all 30,000 of those people were truck drivers, which they're not because there's only 12,000 trucks, right? Which means there's probably like 20,000 drivers or so. Uh, if all those 30,000 people were truck drivers and they just moved into other work, there's actually enough room available. Say it was 30,000 of them. There's 80,000 job openings right now. There's still going to be 50,000 job openings even if all those people moved into current positions. But the one thing that you do have to understand is when the yellow company actually shuts down, those customers still need to be serviced, which means they're going to move their contracts to a different carrier like FedEx, like uh, DHL, uh, and like many, many other carriers out that are out there, which means that work is not going to disappear. It's just going to move to a different area. Now, that means that those drivers who already have those routes, when those other companies pick up those routes, don't you think that those companies are going to hire their drivers right off the bat? Because, hey, I don't have to train you. You already know the people. You already know the route. You know exactly what you have to do. Just do it for me. Change the color of your truck. Change the color of your uniform and get paid the same amount of money, if maybe not more, right? So having a CDO license, even in this crazy time when a 99-year-old company is about to shut down, is one of the best investments you can ever do. Because even if they shut down, 
having that asset will definitely move you into another company, especially if that business is not going to go away completely. Like Walmart's not going anywhere. Home Depot's not going anywhere. They still need deliveries to their individual stores. And companies like FedEx or uh, UPS or anything like that, they're already fully booked, right? They already have um, more than enough work to go around for their drivers, and they're looking for more drivers to keep expanding. So if all of those companies actually, if that one big company dies down, now it's less amount of companies that are actually able to service these bigger clients, which ultimately means if you're a consumer, that means you're probably gonna start seeing higher prices again because the delivery costs are gonna start going up. I mean, it's just a supply and demand thing, right? If you only have a limited amount of trucking companies that are able to service those huge clients because the huge clients don't wanna deal with mom-pop operations, they wanna deal with a whole, thing, a whole big trucking company and take care of all their logistics for them when you really think about it. And now there's only a certain number of uh, trucking companies that are able to service them all of a sudden people are going to be like, hey, I don't have that available. If you want to pay more than this guy, then I'll kick this guy out and you can you can have that route. And then there's going to be companies fighting for that. And this might be the whole turning point that the trucking company needs in 2023 to start seeing rates start to increase. Because this company that's 99 years old, the yellow, hasn't, this is not the first year that they've had this issue. They've been carrying this debt for many, many years. They've been trying to fix it. But all of a sudden, when things dipped down a little bit, they did not have anything in reserves left, and they would, that's what made them shut down, right? So the, the lesson of the game is if you own your own trucking company or any type of business itself, always have something in reserves. Don't scale out to the point where you're then going to be running on thin ice because if something does not go as planned, it could be the difference between you being open or shutting down and dying a miserable death right so what am i even talking about here well, if you're a consumer and this thing does happen prices are probably going to start going up because transportation costs would just go up simply because of supply and demand right if you're a cdo driver or thinking about becoming a cdo driver anytime uh prices go up that means i can actually pay you as a driver more money as well so think about it and right now is just a great time to actually get into the industry because those guys who may lose their job or might get laid off because the company will die out are going to have the easiest time just transferring their skill set to another another position. Now, the people working in the offices or the executives here or the executives there, those guys are going to have a very hard time actually from a company getting laid off to try to find another job because it's not easily transferable skill set. But having a CDO license is probably one of the safest investments that you can make in yourself simply because even in the worst, worst case scenario that your company shuts down, you can get a whole nother job tomorrow. Whether it's in the same field, whether it's over the road, whether it's local, depending on how picky you are, you can get another job tomorrow because there's enough jobs out there. So if you don't have your CDO license yet, maybe you're afraid of getting laid off. Maybe you're one of these people who work for Yellow and actually work in the office and you're afraid, hey, how am I going to transfer myself over? get yourself a CDL license. And if you're looking for a school to do that, come to Driving Academy. We are the best truck driving school in the whole country for many reasons. All you have to know is we're open up seven days a week. So that means there's no excuse whether you're working or not working. We can still help you out. All you need is $500 down to get started. And we do offer lifetime job placement. So if you so happen to work for a 99 year old company that became bankrupt overnight, then just come back to us. We're still going to be here. We ain't going to bankrupt anytime soon. We are good to go. The goal is to get to at least 99 years with us. And then from there, we'll just help you find another job because we have so many jobs out there that people are waiting for, right? So what are you waiting for? Give us a call, 908-525-3609 or check out our website at cdldrivingacademy.com. We have locations that are starting to open up all across the nation. You might be able to find a location that's near you or you just give us a call and then we could definitely help you out no matter what state you're actually coming in from. So I hope that this information was helpful. And the takeaways of this thing is gonna be, hey, 30,000 jobs might be lost from a old company that was mismanaged, that didn't really know what was going on. The customers that they have are not going anywhere, which means Walmarts and Home Depots of the world still need their products transported. That's going to be moving on to a separate company that can actually service them that's big enough. It's going to make other companies even stronger, which means the people who have their CDO license already and have been working those routes for many years are just going to get picked up by whoever picks up those accounts. And it's going to be a seamless tran uh, transformation from one person to the other. The biggest difference is going to be the color of the truck is going to change and maybe the shirt that they wear to work every day is going to be a different color as well. Yellow, 
Uh, they probably wear yellow shirts. They're going to go to FedEx. I think FedEx is like purple or blue or something like that. Maybe they go to UPS and they're brown. So that's pretty much the biggest change. Uh, paychecks are probably going to be the same simply because people are used to a certain rate. And that's pretty much it. So if you want the most secure job in America, get yourself a CDL license and stop delaying. Let's get things going. Because even in the worst of times, getting a CDL license will make sure that you're, you're secure, your family's secure, and ultimately your future secure. Our mission here at Driving Academy is to help a million people get on the road to freedom. And what's more free than driving where you want to go, making enough money to have as many options as you choose, and living the life that you want to live. Thank you and have a great day. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, make sure you hit that like button. Also, subscribe to our channel. It's really going to help us out. Click on that button. And if you want to continue yourself on your road to freedom, here's more videos to watch. There's endless amounts. Hopefully, we get to see each other one day very soon. Thanks.